What's the deal with fat consumption? Is it ultimately the answer to many of our problems? Hi, in case you're new to this channel, I'm Slick Nick, your personal keto bro. I'm not a doctor, not a dietitian, not a nutritionist or a personal trainer, just some random guy in Tennessee who's working towards a 17% body fat, ideally by my 40th birthday in less than two months, we'll see. I wanna be able to fit into a size medium t-shirt without the bottom sticking out like a dress. That's, that's my goal, I'm being real with you. I don't need huge muscles if I can just get that 17% body fat, that's my goal. So let's talk about fat. It's funny because, you know, in my household, consider I'm married, I have two kids. So by default, they're exposed to my lifestyle. Only eating between two and seven, focusing heavy on fats. The majority of my calories coming from fat, eating half as much protein as I do fat, and then less than 50 grams of protein every day of carbohydrates. So I wanna tell you this story. So my son, he just went back to school today because here in Tennessee, here in Tennessee, there's been a blizzard and school's been closed for over a week. So he's very, I was very happy for him to be able to go back to school and see his friends. But you can imagine if you're a 10 year old boy and when you're not playing out in the snow for as long as you can before you get too cold, then you're kind of stuck in the house while your parents are working from home. So I was noticing that his attitude kind of just wasn't as good a couple days into it. And granted, he wasn't getting enough rest. He was, he was playing outside a lot and using a lot of energy. But specifically, my son's a vegetarian. And I can be blamed for that because when he was born, that's when I became a vegetarian, my wife and I both, and then eventually vegan. So my son has only been a vegetarian his entire life and is 10 years old. But as I've learned more about keto, here's what I've, what I've learned. If you're mainly only eating carbohydrates, which that's the case for him, he's a vegetarian and he's a picky eater. So it's mainly bread and sometimes cheese. But I noticed that the days his attitude wasn't as good and he would just be so emotional over nothing, it was, I'd say, hey, what did, what did you eat for breakfast today? And it'd be, you know, some kind of organic cereal, but it was, you know, almond milk, which hardly has any fat in it. And then whatever kind of cocoa rice cereal was, but there's no fat in that. So I've been talking to him about that. And I said, so fat keeps you from being hungry. So you're not eating fat, you're just eating carbohydrates. I want you to start eating fat. So here now for all of his meals, whether it's lunch or whatever, I'm like, okay, so you had, you had pasta, but where's the fat in that? So, you know, I'll have him eat some fat filled yogurt or, or eat a block of cheese or whatever it is. And so he's learning that. So here's what's funny. So yesterday, my wife, cause my son was still here snowed in or whatever. So my wife came down and she got some tortilla chips. She's like, I'm just so hungry. I don't know why I'm so hungry today. I kept my mouth shut. I knew the answer. She hadn't eaten any fat yet because fat is what keeps you from being hungry. Carbohydrates make you hungrier and cause you to store fat. I know this, it's common knowledge to me, but I'm part of the keto code, so of course I know this. So it's funny though, my son was there and he heard that. And then she came down again. She said, oh, I'm still just so hungry. I don't know why that is. And then my son told her, you need to eat some fat. <laughs> and I looked over and I was like, wow, I'm proud of you. Like, that's exactly right. When you're hungry, it's because you're not eating enough fat. So now we have this joke in our household that's a solution to every problem. What do you need to do? Eat more fat. You're not in a good mood? Eat more fat. You're hungry? Eat more fat. It's the solution to everything. So we're starting to incorporate this more into our, into our lifestyle collectively. I mean, obviously me to an extreme, but for them, even they're grasping that concept because I don't want to be hungry. And that's one of the reasons I love being keto is because I don't have to be hungry. I was often, it was just like this, you know, victim mentality, this de depravity mindset of like, okay, uh, when, what am I gonna eat and how, will, it, will it fill me up? You know, that was always my thing. I don't have that problem now because I'm not triggering my insulin because I'm not eating until, I mean, what time? it's 2.35 and I still haven't eaten food yet. I will shortly. I'm just shooting enough videos until the battery dies and then I'll, and then I'll take a break, charge the batteries on the camera and uh, finally eat my meals. But it's time for me to eat, but it's after two o'clock. So that makes it, but I'm eating during the five hour, five hour window every day. I'm not hungry. I'm more alert. I feel great. 
And in theory, I'm burning fat even when I'm not doing anything because of the intermittent fasting. But it's funny because, man, what a cult I'm part of. I love it. Your comments belong right here. The solution to everything, eat more fat. Keep your insulin from going up and be full and ultimately train your body to get its fuel and its brain fuel too, not just body, but brain fuel from the fat. Your comments belong right here.